Hi, my name is Paul Kelly and in this Tech Talk I want to talk to you about HoistNet. HoistNet is, is our new product, it's a, a, a mechanism that we've, we've come up with to solve a, a very serious problem which we encounter a lot when we're trying to put instrumentation on, on cranes in particular. And that's, and that's the problem of electrical interference. Um, with the, the prevalence these days of variable speed drives on, on long, long travel, cross travel and, and often now on hoisting as well, we're seeing a lot of installs where we're having electrical noise problems that are being superimposed in onto, the, um, uh, uh, onto the signals that we're trying to collect. Uh, here's some examples of those. As you can see, it can be really quite severe, and worse than that, these problems sometimes don't show up until commissioning time. And now you're on a customer's site, they're tapping their foot, there's a couple of million dollars on the line, and you've got to get this thing stood up, and it's the worst time to be trying to diagnose these faults. So what we've done is we've drawn on this experience, we've, uh, the experience we've had with thousands of these installs, and, um, and we've come up with a mechanism to get load and other information from one side of the crane to another wirelessly. Uh, and to demonstrate that today, I'm going to start by showing you a new product of ours, and that's MaxOut. Now, MaxOut is so new we don't have stickers for it yet, but this is a simple load limiting device. It doesn't log, it just simply has a, uh, a set of contacts that open and close um, when the crane overloads. Um, it's designed to be a low cost, simple thing to set up and install. Okay, so I've got a max out here. I've got a, a load cell simulator. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a calibration into this max out system. To do that, I'll, using the field service utility, I'll connect. Do, do, do. Here it is. As you can see, it's a very simple system. Um, with that setting, I'm going to hit zero. And we'll go away and take some samples, and when it's done that, I'll dial the load up a little bit. Okay, that'll do. And I'll calibrate that at 10 tons. goes away, takes a, little, a few more samples, and now we have it reading 9.9 .9 tons there. That's great. Um, we'll set our load limits to 11 tons, um, and we're done. So that's a calibration into that device now. So there's that. I'll dial that down to 5 tons here, just so we can... Okay, so that's now reading on, on, the, on the screen 4.6-ish tons. I'll set that aside. Okay, so you've got this load limiter on, I installed now, and let's just say the you come back a, a little while later and the customer wants to fit a data logger to their crane now. In the past, you would have installed that data logger, maybe a separate load cell, maybe you'd wire it into the um, existing um, load signal, um, or maybe you'd have to put it in the end carriage and you'd have to run a long cable between the two. Now what you do is you install the data logger anywhere you like, you connect using the FSU application, connect to the data logger and you go to the load tab. Now instead of picking millivolts or Q-link or frequency, this time we pick HoistNet. We click on the bind button and we tell it that it's going to get its load from the max out. It goes away. It'll connect it. It'll connect and now you can see that it's showing 4.6 tons load on the lift log. If I go to the max out and I increase that load, you'll see the load goes up on the lift log. Okay, so that's great. So now we come along and the customer wants a load display. No problems, we'll get a load display. power it up, we install it, all we've done is run power to this, we can put it anywhere we like, and you can see here that what I've done is, I'll connect to the load display, under the load tab, it's connected to HoistNet, it's getting its load here from the lift log, it's online, and so now when I change the load on the max out, it updates the load on the lift log, 
which now updates the load on the display. Now that's a convoluted way to configure it, but you, you could also point the, um, uh, the load display directly at the max out, um, or you could point the lift log at the display. It, it doesn't matter. You can create any sorts of connections you need to create to get the load signal where you need to get it on the crane. And really that's what um, HoistNet is all about. It's about enabling you to get the signals from where they are on the crane to where they need to be on the crane without having to run long cables. And we just think it's going to save heaps of time and heaps of hassle at the commissioning stage, that most vulnerable stage of the, of the whole process of uh, getting a crane project stood up. Cheers.